looks like making their way back into the into the dressing room as we will await the final bout for this afternoon session. And we'd like to point out that the broadcaster for this bout, TSA Broadcasting, stands for Total Sports Asia. And we'd like to thank them for doing such a great job in, in not only setting up this production, but sending the feed out to their various satellite networks around the world so that boxing fans close and far, long and near, can enjoy the action as we are from ringside out of the red corner for this next bout. He is Jay F. Opataya. He's from Sydney, Australia. He's 16 years old. He's got a 28 and 2 amateur record. Started boxing when he was 12 years old. His dad was a boxer. He's got some family involvement for sure. He's beaten Matulamov and Madali from the Ukraine and as as Azerbaijan respectively. And he now is in the ring. Headgear is ready, and he is going to face Ruslan Yurchenko. <laughs> And as Ruslan Yurchenko makes his way in, he's coming from Sochi, Russia. 178 is his height. 77 kilograms is his weight. He's got an amateur record of 97 wins and 89 losses. The referee for this bout is from India. Nothing like neutrality and transparency. That's what Aiba is all about. That's what they give us. Give it to us raw. This is boxing in its finest form, its purest form, amateur boxing. Keep the politics out. Keep the riffraff out. Keep the showboating out. And get, get down to basics. That's what we have here. The judges for this contest, Morocco, Germany, Sri Lanka, Puerto Rico, and last but not least, the Philippines. And we see Ruslan, the aggressor already, coming forward. But Opataya looks like he's a confident boxer, on his toes, on the outside. Just underway here in the first round. Winner of this bout will go on to face Melvin Perry tomorrow in the 180 kilogram finals. I am Castle Chalice. We are here at the 2011 Aiba Junior World Boxing Championships in Astana, Kazakhstan. It's been a great week of boxing, a long week of boxing. Capped off with tonight, culminating tomorrow in the finals. That's what everyone really wants to see. And you all will be able to watch it from where you're sitting right there tonight, no matter where you are in the world. We're bringing you the semifinals all day and uh, evening tonight, and the finals are coming right back at you tomorrow. Russia's brought eight boxers to this tournament. Australia's brought, brought two. And this is Australia's remaining boxer in the tournament, while Russia has a few more still that we're going to get to see later in the evening session. And again, others that have already progressed and will be boxing tomorrow in the finals. Not much action happening here now in the second round. Excuse me, the first round. Check that. 36 seconds left until the second round. Australia throws a right-left combination. And now Ruslan Yurchenko comes back with his own. Right hand by Yurchenko to the back of the head. Referee's going to probably put a stop to that. There's another right hand to the head on the break. Ruslan Yurchenko knows what it means to box at the international level like this is. Referee going to urge J Jai Apataya to keep his hands up. Apataya ironically says that his greatest strength in the ring is unpredictability. Unpredictability and that his greatest weakness is his complacency. Well, seems a little complacent in that first round. Let's see if he can't pick that up and be a little more unpredictable for the rest of the bout. Ruslan Yurchenko, 97 wins, 89 losses, as we mentioned. Started boxing since he was 13. And his favorite thing, of course, about boxing is winning. He says he enjoys watching Roy Jones Jr. And his inspiration is his parents. His goal, to win this tournament. And why not? It's a lofty and worthy goal, folks, let me tell you. The Aiba Jr. World Boxing Championships fits together the best of the best of the best from around the entire world at this age class. 
and all the weight classes, and they're all vying for one thing tomorrow. That's the goal tomorrow. Seconds out, round number two underway. And Opataya comes out with a nice re right hand, somewhat sla uh, swaggers or staggers Ruslan, but Ruslan is a sturdy boxer, you could tell. He's on his feet, he's not going anywhere, not anytime soon. He's got a job to do. He's, he came on a mission to come here this week and come home with the gold, and it looks like he's ready to do that. A wild left hand by Ruslan, misses. Opataya comes with a nice lead left hand, followed by a nice duck from a punch. And that's what you want to do. You want to slip those punches, those counter punches. That's what Ruslan tried to sneak in, in it, sneak in there. And that's what Opataya was able to avoid. And now they're tying up again in the center of the ring. Referee keeping a close eye on the action. And there's Opataya's unpredictability. That's what he was talking about. The ability to sort of stay in front and then like a phantom disappear. And that looks like it could start to wear on Ruslan as the bout goes on. Ruslan looks like the type of guy that wants to know where his target is when he throws his punch and wants to land after he throws it. And Opataya not going to make that easy for him. There's a nice sharp right hand, a, a jarring right hand by Ruslan that may have really staggered Opataya. And now Opataya comes back with some action of his own. 40 seconds left in this second round of the final bout of this afternoon session. 80 kilograms being contested. That's a men's light heavyweight division. We got Jai Opataya from Sydney, Australia, and Ruslan Yurchenko from Sochi, Russia. And now a standing eight count going to be issued to Joe Apataya. And a chopping left hand by Apataya scores to the right temple of Ruslan, but Ruslan unfazed keeps coming forward. Again, Ruslan looking for that opportunity to land that big punch. No sense letting this go to the judges' scorecards when you could finish it your own style with a referee stop contest or a knockdown. That's what Ruslan Yurchenko should be aiming for. That's what all boxers should be aiming for at the end of the day. Don't stick around too long. Get in there and get out. That's the name of the game. Left hand by Opataya, mostly blocked by Yurchenko. That's the end of round two, folks. One more round to go. That one went 6-5 to the Australian. So that means that this is going to be a very close one. This is uh, already 9-6, to six, Jai Opataya of England, uh, excuse me, of Sydney, Australia, and he's going to try and hold on to that lead in this third and final round. In order to get here, the path that they've taken, Opataya has beat Kil Kizilay Zinar from Turkey, and then he was able to beat Telek Kuzbakov from Kazakhstan, and then that's what got him here today. That was on a 12-3 to three decision. Uh, Yurchenko was able to get past Zaur Mutali from the Ukraine, and then also uh, against, uh, let's see, Zaur, um, he was able to get uh, Mutalov uh, in order, to, uh, that was at a 15-9 in order to, to get to where he is. So that's how they got here, Opataya and Yurchenko. This is the third and final round of this session, and now we see Opataya with a, a chopping right hand that sends Ruslan to the ropes. The crowd starting to get on their feet. Now the action picks up. Both of these boxers are smelling, smelling victory. And Opataya throwing two stiff left hands and a sharp right hook all to the head of Ruslan. And now Ruslan looks like he's getting a little troubled. He's getting a little flustered. A left hand to the head by Ruslan. And now he's starting to bear his way in like the Russian bear that he is. Opataya doing a good job to keep his distance. Bob and weave, box and stick and move, stick and move. That's how you do it. He doesn't want to get complacent. He says that's one of his weaknesses, Jai Opataya. Well, he can't get complacent here because he's going to eat a big right hand by Ruslan Yurchenko like he just did. But now here comes Opataya back of his own accord. He's got a left and a right in there. And now the bull rush by Yurchenko. Referee going to caution him. We're halfway through, folks. Less than a minute left in this final round. A swinging for the fences type of left hook from U Ruslan Yurchenko while he had Apataya against the ropes. That did nothing but tire him out as it missed entirely. And now both boxers are going to sort of tie up again in the center. Referee going to caution 
Jaya Pattaya for turning it back. Sharp, stiff left hand. That's that unpredictability by Opataya. Snuck right in the guard of Ruslan Yurchenko. And that was a nice shot for the judges as well. There's no question that one would have scored points or a point because it clearly went right through the guard and put the head back of Ruslan Yurchenko. Left hand by Opataya. Looks like it may have scored. Certainly give the judges something to consider. This one's going to go to the scorecards in just a few seconds, and it would seem to be the case that Jai Opataya may have done enough to hold on to his victory. And we're going to see in just a moment how that turned out. Ruslan Yurchenko and Jai Opataya coming to the center of the ring to hear the decision. Who's going to get the privilege of boxing? Melvin Perry. This is going to be a good one either way. That Melvin Perry looks sharp, and so do both of these boxers tonight. So the winner will go on to face Melvin Perry tomorrow in the 180-kilogram uh, finals. And the winner is Jai Opataya. You know, it didn't look like he had it in the first round, but he seemed to come on strong. And by the second and third round, he clearly pulled away. He is your winner. Tomorrow's finals in the men's light heavyweight, Jai Opataya and Melvin Perry. Stay tuned, folks. That is all of the boxing for this afternoon session. We will be back in a short while to contest the remaining eight weight classes for this Aiba Junior World Boxing Championships.